The film starts with two recently released criminals preparing to kidnap someone to do this Tom and Mark steal a van from a public parking lot, after which they change the numbers on it so that the police cannot track them, then they go to a hardware store, where they buy film soundproofing material. Locks, rope, and other tools needed to keep the kidnapped person captive having rented an old dilapidated apartment, the guys break and take out the bed sheath, the walls with soundproofing, and close them. Windows with boards completely isolating the room from the outside world, they go into the forest and hang a red rag on one of the trees in order to know where the ransom will lie the boys dig a small hole for the money line the inside of the van with cling film and change their clothes finalizing. Preparations for the kidnapping the next morning, they arrive in the city center and wait for their markdown as soon as a beautiful girl passes by the car, Tom and Mark rush, after her having thrown a bag. Over Stella's head, they drag her into the van and handcuff her to metal loops so that the prisoner does not escape to prevent from tracking the girl Tom pulls out the battery from her mobile phone, but says it in case it comes in handy upon arrival at the rented apartment the abductors handcuffed. The girl to the bed after which they changed, Stella's clothes Mark takes several photographs of the captive in front of a fresh newspaper after collecting all the used clothes in a trash bag the kidnapping. Ours change clothes and use masks to prevent Stella from recognizing their faces returning to the room with the prisoner Mark demands her father's email address and mobile number in order to contact him and demand a ransom. A little later the kidnapper copies the girl's photos to a removable drive and goes to an internet cave to contact her father before leaving he asks Tom to check on Stella and her condition every 10 minutes the guide obediently fulfills the request of a more experienced criminal and looks into the bedroom to make sure that the girl is still alive a couple of hours later. Mark returns home and brings some mobile phones needed to contact Stella's parents. Realizing that they must monitor the condition of the captive, the guys go to her room to give the girl a drink, Mark asks. Not to scream and pulls the gag out of Stella's mouth, but she immediately calls for help, closing her mouth again. The kidnapper reminds her that they can hurt her and people won't hear it, realizing that I... T is better to obey the girl calmly drinks water and learns the rules of being in captivity. In case she needs to go to the toilet, she must show a special gesture, after which she shows one finger if she wants to go small into, if she wants to go big, having learned the rules Stella immediately showed. One finger signaling that she wants to go to the toilet, the guys use a conveniently shaped plastic vessel for this. So as not to unfasten the captain's handcuffs a little later, the kidnappers decide to eh. eh. But Tom is not in the mood Mark forces a comrade and stuffs food into his mouth. He understands that this is stress and the guy doubts the correctness of the ACT, but it's too late to retreat, and he need to finish what he started after dinner Mark goes back to the internet cafe as soon as the comrade leaves Tom looks at the photo of the girl and peers into her frightened eyes. Feeling sympathy he checks on the girl and approaches her Stella shows that she wants to use the toilet again, but when T Tom takes off her mask, it turns out that the girl needs go to big the kidnapper brings a bucket and partially frees the girl she is uncomfortable and unable to concentrate. So she asks him to turn away as soon as he does this Stella hits the guy on the head with a bucket and drawing a gun pulls off. His mask in his face the girl recognizes her ex-boyfriend Tom, who she met a few months ago before he ended up behind bars she threatens him and asks to release her, but Tom is unable to do this since his Accomplice Mark controls everything at some point, Stella shoots and stuns the criminal despite this he manages to throw the girl on the bed, take away the weapon and chain her again, he warns her not to tell Mark about what happened otherwise he will take the lives of both soon the partner returns to. The apartment and reports that the girl's father does not want to pay Mark invites Tom to sleep as the most difficult is ahead, and they will need strength a couple of hours later, he woke up a friend and shared a plan to put pressure on his father taking a camera and a pruner they return to the girl's bedroom to record a video for her father Mark wants to cut Stella's finger and insists that she turn to her father the girl tearfully asks to stop and declares that she has been pregnant for her. four months hearing this a shocked Tom asks his partner to stop and they leave while Mark is copying and viewing the recorded video his partner realizes that Stella is pregnant by him it's time to feed it he girl Tom is so nervous that he forgets to put on his mask but the prudent Mark points it out to him Mark tries to feed Stella but she asks the second kidnapper to do it. He refuses her request and does his job at the same moment, Stella and Tom get scared when they find a shell casing on the floor. The couple realize that this evidence could expose them and Mark will take the lives of both Tom tries to gently approach the bed. But Mark notices his strange behavior fortunately, at some point a spot. On falls on the floor and Tom having picked it up hides the cartridge case in his pocket after feeding Stella Tom hurries to get rid of the evidence and goes to the toilet the guy throws the cartridge case down the toilet and flushes it hoping the problem is solved moments later, he realizes that the cartridge case is still at the bottom of the toilet and tries to push it through all attempts are in vain, and Mark begins to suspect that something is wrong the partner is already breaking in the door. R, so Tom has no choice, and he swallows the cartridge case trying to save himself, and Stella's life Mark finds it strange, even that his partner was in the bathroom. But it doesn't stink at all as soon as the partner leaves for the internet cafe, Tom checks the calendar, and is once again convinced that 
Stella is pregnant from him going to the girl's bedroom. He asks to explain why she hid and whether it was a hoax Stella allows him to touch her belly and reproaches the guy for leaving her at the most. In opportune moment Tom admits that he did not kidnap her by chance because he knows that the girl has a rich father and told to mark about her at some point, Stella begins to feel sick, and she almost suffocates Tom frees her to save her, and the girl seduces him. It turned out that all this was a distraction to captivate the kidnapper as soon as Tom is handcuffed, Stella tries to call for help, but all attempts are unsuccessful, while the guy is trying to get the keys lying nearby the girl calls the pen. Polis realizing that they will not help her Stella returns to the room to pick up the keys meanwhile Tom noticed that the pipe by the bed was broken and was waiting for the girl to come closer, as soon as she bends over the guy hits her in the head and renders her unconscious having changed the girl. Back to the bed Tom meets Mark, who has returned to the apartment and finds out that everything is ready for further action, Tom rushes to the parking lot to get the van closer and finds documents confect. Arming Stella's pregnancy history he understands that the girl did not lie and that this is really his child meanwhile Mark frees the captive's legs and arms and notices the mobile phone that has fallen out of her pocket the criminal in a rage interrogates the girl and she calls the name of Tom. Continuing the interrogation with passion Mark learns that Stella and Tom are familiar moreover. They met he is furious and literally bangs his head against the wall when he suddenly notices a bullet stuck in end the wall and realizes that something more has happened here having learned everything from Stella Mark realizes that his partner cannot be trusted when Tom returns to the apartment, his partner tries to talk to him and see if he wants to confess anything, to him both are very nervous but do not give themselves away and do not report that they know a little more Mark understands that his partner cannot be trusted because he hides his acquaintance with Stella and everything that happened in the app. Artment during his absence everything is ready for further action. So the kidnappers give the girl an injection and as soon as she falls asleep, they take her out of town upon arrival at the old boathouse. The kidnappers change the girl to the armature Mark asks his partner to hand over the keys to the handcuffs since he no longer needs them, he also reveals that the original plan is changing. It was planned that Tom would stay with Stella and look after her while Mark went to get the money now. The partner wants the guy to go with him. Tom is worried that Stella won't survive if they don't return, but this doesn't scare Mark at all arriving in the forest. Tom does not much trust a strange and mysterious partner before getting out of the van he inserts a battery into Stella's cell phone so that they and the girl can be found then, the partners go deep into the forest and follow the tree where they ordered to leave a ransom, noticing that no one is around Mark asks Tom to go to the tree and check. For money, the guy believes that they were deceived since the case is empty, but it turns out that it is all a trap Mark showed Stella's father another place. And this forest would become his partner's grave Tom realizes that he has only a few minutes left to live and makes Mark remember there. Acquaintance ends the beginning of their friendship as soon as the kidnapper loses his vigilance. The guy pushes him and tries to escape Mark shoots after him and wounds the guy, but he manages to escape before. His partner comes closer having received the ransom Mark changes the car and clothes, after which he returns to the boathouse, he wants to get rid of the last witness to the crime and prepares an injection for the girl, because of which she will fall asleep forever the wounded Tom comes in time and Hits his partner in the head Mark shoots Tom again, leaving him unable to get up Stella takes advantage of a fight between them, and kicks Mark in the leg he falls and releases his gun from his hands which Tom immediately picks up and shoots at his partner depriving him of his life with the last of his strength the wounded guy takes out the keys from Mark's pocket and throws them closer to the girl Stella frees herself, and stays next to Tom seeing how the guy falls into eternal sleep having got out. Of the old boathouse the girl finds a car with a lot of money relations with the father were bad, and ahead was the birth of a child who needed care and attention, the ransom amount is enough for Stella. To start a new life realizing this the girl calms down and leaves with a smile on her face to meet a brighter future.